Whew, all right, Christmas is finally over. And even though I had pneumonia, I'm starting to get my voice back. Not all the way there. Still sounds like I got a small frog in there. I don't know. Maybe it's a bullfrog. I don't know what's up with that. But hey, glad to see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow. Once again, we're getting ready to roll into 2014. We're right off the bat. We'll start off with CES. And then right after that again, the NAM show. So it's like consumer electronics and rock and roll. But today we're going to do the unboxing and first look of the V8 from the people over at Cooler Master. Now, this is an 80 plus gold, fully modular, 850 watt power supply. Coming to mark about 169 bucks. This thing's geared for the enthusiast who likes to have everything modular and high quality components. Now, everything in it is made of superior Japanese components. So this thing's going to be running really well and it's made superiorly well. So with that said, let's jump in. Let's check out what comes in the box and what the V850 is all about. All right, folks, so first off, let's pick out the old trusty little knife here. Let's insert it over here, make a quick cut. I'll just tear this thing out of here like a Christmas package so we can take a look at the box with all this glaring, shiny stuff sticking in our face. So let's get all this stuff off of here. Do -do 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 do all right, then. Kind of looking like liquor colors right there, the, the purple and the gold. But all right, front of the box, Cooler Master V850, fully modular power supply, 135 millimeter FDB high quality extended life silent fan, 100% Japanese made capacitors. And like I said before, 80 plus gold. Flip it around the back just real quick. They just have some stuff about the fan curve and stuff, and it's efficiency curve, so it's going to be quiet and silent. Now, if we get really close up here to the box, you guys can see that they have the motherboard power connectors, some more CPU and 4-pin connectors. Next up, PCIe 6, 8-pin, SATA, more peripherals or Molex cables, and a floppy connector. So we're actually going to see that. Let's flip it around the back. Here just shows the specifications, the model number, the form factor, AETX, 12 volt, version 2.31, active PFC. The dimensions are 150 by 170 by 88 millimeters or 5.9 by 6.7 by 3 quarter inches. 135 millimeter FDB fan. 90% in their typical load is the efficiency, and mean time between fares is 100,000 hours. The rest of the stuff you guys can see, once again, they tell you the connectors. One of those, one of those, six of those, nine of those, four of those, and four of those. And it's a USA type with the little USA yellow sticker. All right. Pop the side off right here. I feel so rusty doing this. I was sick for so long, and there was actually been almost a few weeks since I've actually done a product video, so I feel a little rusty here. A little rusty. All right. I'll pull this bad boy out of its box. Move this off the old side here. And we got this right here. Mirror. You guys can see it's the Cooler Master, my square box, yada, yada, yada. All right. Good to go. You guys want to see this. So... Pull this off, got this, throw it at the cameraman. You guys love that, missed it. Oh, hit the cameraman and landed on his head like a hat. Damn, I'm good. So check it out. Gigantor, super thick sized power cable right here. Good enough to use to plug into your wall or beat your enemies down into a pitiful moment. All right, here we go with all the connectors inside this little package here. We'll bang that out here. We'll go ahead and let me just push this a little bit out of the way for a second. Let's get the cables out here and go over them. Sorry, folks, I took the cables out, got them here all on the table. Let's start taking a look at them. Right here, we're going to start off with our power cables. You got your 8-pin, your two 4-pin. They say CPU on them clearly. PSU, CPU, all clearly labeled. SATA cables, not clearly labeled, but you guys know what SATA cables are. And we've got one, two, two sets of those, one set of Molex. So two sets of those. One set of Molex, some more SATA cables, then another power. This is your 24 pin, big old thick ranging thing there. And we've got more power right here. These are PCI. There's actually three PCI cables, so you can hook up three video cards. So you can do triple SLI or standard SLI or triple crossfire. That's what you can do, not quad, but there's three of them, so that's enough to power those. And then the last cable is just another Molex cable right there. So that's all the cables. You have the screws right here to mount the power supply to your case. And now let's go ahead and pull the power supply itself out. We've also got basically an installation guide right here. 
This is for the V700 watt, 850 and 1000 watts. There'll be actually three models of these coming out. We have the 850. Set that down. Go ahead and just pull the unit all out of there. Start off from the back right here. Power plug, the switch. You can see all the components inside of the unit. On the side here, the Cooler Master V850. The fan on the bottom. By the way, this looks very nice too, just from the way it looks. You guys can see it's a very elegant looking unit. Here's the back side, the Cooler Master V850. 80 plus gold again. As you guys can see, it's completely modular. For people who are enthusiasts and who like their stuff to be very, very clean, this is the cleanest design you're going to get. So that's basically what comes in the box. This, all the lovely cables, including the one I dropped on the floor here, yada yada. The power cable and two different containers. Kapow. All right, folks, so there you have it. Cooler Master's latest entry into the base. I think this is about the mid-level power supply market. I mean, you know, 850 is right in there, you know, in the middle. It's not like a 1,000 or 1,200 or anything giant. It's not either 600 or 500 either. So I think it's like right in that nice sweet spot. It'll support SLI, Crossfire. And like I said, this thing's coming to market about $169. For you people out there who are interested in buying it, down there in the description box below the like button, you guys will see all this information. We'll have links to where if you guys want to see either more information or purchase this thing, you guys can do so. Hope you guys like this stuff. We'll be back here for more videos really, really soon. I was down for a while, but now I'm back. So look for more of us here on Tech of Tomorrow.